Kita berkarya menjadi yang terbaik di udara Lewat radio suara teknika Satukan cita, wujudkan mimpi Di SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja Lewat radio suara teknika Mari belajar, mari berkarya Satukan langkah, jangan pernah menyerang Mari belajar, kita berkarya menjadi yang terbaik di udara Lewat radio suara teknika Good morning. How are you today? Well, I hope you're happy and healthy today, wherever you are and whatever t- you do. <laughs> okay, with me, Prabha, as a host today, we'll accompany you in studio. Stamps in English on the radio. For today's edition, Wednesday, 31 July 2024. We are Stamsy and we speak English. Okay? Oh. Look at our new designing of our radio today. Like, wow, it's a newest thing. Okay, stop right now. <laughs> okay, right now, today we're having a new quest start today. Are you excited about it? Okay, for today, we are not interviewing a student from SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja. We are interviewing an alumni from SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja. I think you're really excited about it because we are gonna getting to know more about her. Okay, her name is Amelia. She is an alumni from SM Kandegi Tiga Singaraja, and she majoring in the cafe. Okay, without any further ado, let's just say hi to her. Hi, Amel. Hi, Prava. Okay, how are you today? I'm good. What about you? Oh, I'm very well right now. Thank you so much for asking. Um, do you already take your breakfast today? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course, because it's really important, right, for yeah. our activities, especially mm-hmm. for breakfast. Okay, uh, are you re- nervous right now? <laughs> yeah, a little yeah, bit. I <laughs> guess <laughs> <laughs> it's your first time uh, live streaming on the radio, right? Yeah. That's okay, because we're going to having um, gonna give you some question, and you could answer it in your words in English, okay? Okay, okay the first question, for to get to know more about each other, Uh, please introduce yourself about your name and your major. Okay. okay. Thank you. My name is Amalia Tuljana, often called Amel or Amalia. I majored in the cafe at SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja, and now I am studying at Undiksa in the same field as the cafe. Wow, so you're continuing your study in Undiksa. Wow, yeah. that's really excellent because uh, especially for an alumni, you choosing to uh, continue your study, ex- yeah. expect to uh, continue your job. That's really excellent. Okay, sahabat Tanika, as you can see, Amelia is an alumni from SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja. And this is very interesting because this is my first time interviewing an alumni because lately, I'm mostly um, interviewing a lot of students in SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja. But right now, today, I'm interviewing an alumni and now we're gonna get to know more about her, okay? 
Uh, the next question, this is a simple question, Amelia. Why you choose to study uh, in SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja? Tell me more about your opinion. Okay, thank you, Praba. Mm -hmm. I choose study at SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja because the quality of its program. SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja is mm -hmm. known for providing strong practical skill and great opportunities for students to improve their talents. Wow, that's really incredible because uh, I'm so glad that you're choosing our school, especially in SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja. Okay, sahabat Anika, as you can see, I'm not going to be boring you about promoting our school in SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our school, especially uh, in vocational high school number three in Singaraja, is the best school school in Singaraja for me because we having 10 major and for example that one of them is Decafe for as you can see Amelia is joining in Decafe and she is very well especially in designing in photography and also in editing <laughs> right you. that's really incredible that's really excellent okay you're joining Decafe right yeah why you choose Decafe as your major Okay, I choose Decafe as my major mm -hmm. because of my interest in visual art and design. Mm -hmm. It allow me to improve my uh, your skill. Yeah, wow, skill. your skill. Okay, that's really incredible because um, as you can see that SM kind of Tiga Singaraja is not only having uh, one major, not not only having Decafe, but we having ten major in SM kind of Tiga Singaraja, mm -hmm. and I think you're improving so well, right? Especially in editing, in designing, and also Thank in you. photography. That's really incredible. Okay, okay. Next question. I heard that you won the first achievement in drawing contest to commemorate World HIV AIDS Day. How do you feel about it? Of course, I feel proud and happy, mm -hmm. and it's make me motivated to continue my passion. Wow, that's really incredible because especially if you're having talent in art, in drawing, that's uh, really improving your skill. Okay, Sabatanika, as you can see, um, Amelia is a student as as you can see, Amelia is an alumni from SMK mm -hmm. Negeri Tiga Singaraja and she is majoring in the cafe and she is really focusing and updating their skills in a drawing because I really love drawing too but I need to learn more about how to draw, how to coloring, there's a lot of things I have to learn and you can manage to do it, that's really incredible. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, so you really love drawing so much, right? Since when you learning to draw, Amelia? Yeah, I have loved drawing since I was a child, mm -hmm. and I start learning serious in elementary school. In elementary school, yeah. wow, that's really incredible. I mean, I'm also start learning um, how to draw since I was elementary school because um, drawing is su such a hardest thing for me because I need to learn more about coloring, about uh, how to drawing in pencil, yeah. in pen. There's a lot of things, and, and you so can manage it. That's really incredible. Yes. Okay. Uh, next question. Do you prefer drawing or coloring, or maybe both of it? Honestly, I enjoy both drawing and mm -hmm. coloring because with drawing, it allow me mm -hmm. to create a new concept and idea, mm -hmm. while with coloring adds life and emotion to the artwork. So, oh, that's really incredible. So you are drawing, so you can um, so you so you can showing about your emotion, yeah. about your feelings in draw. Oh, that's really excellent because I can't even do that. I can't <laughs> even do that. <laughs> because it's really hard for me. Um, for me, drawing is kind of uh, finding an inspiration. It's not showing an emotion because if I'm showing my emotion, my drawing is kind of a bit ug ugly <laughs> or abstract. <laughs> I don't know how to do it because it's really hard to showing my emotion in arts, but you can manage it. How, to d how you can do it? I, I think I have to learn more about you, how to draw. That's really Thank excellent. You. Okay, um, next question. Okay. So you're really good at drawing, right? What kind Thank of you. drawing competition that you involve? Just tell me some of it, okay? I have participated in various competition. Mm -hmm. uh, in include local art competition, oh. school event, mm -hmm. and provincial competition. Oh, huh? One of the memorable competition mm -hmm. was the calligraphy art where I draw on Manila size paper wow. in Egg Hour. 
Wow, that's really incredible. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of competition that you're joining, especially in draw competition. I think you already memorize, memorize a lot of things, right? Especially when you're drawing in calligraphy. I think, is calligraphy the hardest thing you do? Yeah. Yeah, yes. <laughs> because there's a lot of things that you can learn, especially uh, when you're drawing calligraphy or you're making designing. Okay, that's really a lot of things, but... For me, I think that's the hardest thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> that's really incredible that you can manage it. Thank okay, mm -hmm. the next question. Can you tell us more about your little tips? How, you, how can you to win on drawing competition? Sure, in my op opinion, it's mm -hmm. very important to practical consistently mm -hmm. uh, and focus on creativity mm -hmm. and understand the theme of competition. Wow, so uh, when you're um, in drawing competition, so you really understanding what kind of structure, yeah. what kind of plan in drawing competition. That's really excellent. Okay, Sabah Tanika, as you can see, Amelia is really good at drawing. And that's Thank her you. little <laughs> tips on uh, drawing competition, is that you have to understand what kind of point, what kind of structure in drawing competition. When you already understand what kind of structure and the points in drawing competition, you can manage to win in that drawing competition. And that's yeah, really great. Exactly. I think uh, she's going to suggest you to uh, that tips, right? To yeah. the competition. That's really excellent. OK, uh, the next question. Do you have other skills besides drawing? Yeah, besides drawing, I also have skill in Graphic design, graphic design, editing mm -hmm. photo or mm -hmm. video, and photography. Wow, so I think you really love in designing and also editing video yeah. or photo, especially <laughs> in photography. That's really excellent. I mean, for me, as a junior, junior of her, <laughs> is really have to learn more about photography because I have to manage how to handle a camera, how to take yeah, a photo with a okay. the camera. There's a lot of things I have to learn, but for me, and but for her, it's really easy for her because she She's already learning a lot in internship, right? Yeah. That's really excellent. And also, um, in designing, I think designing is not the hardest thing for me. The hardest thing for me is the photography. Photographies yeah. have to yeah. learning a lot of well, how to handle handle a camera, yeah. and right. I think I have to learn more about you <laughs> how to do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next question. Okay. Um, do you have any other hobbies than drawing? Yeah. I like mm -hmm. listening music, mm -hmm. reading, and playing basketball. Playing <laughs> basketball, wow. Okay, so we're having a new interesting in Amelia. Amelia is not only interesting in drawing, but also interesting in basketball. Okay, since when you learning basketball, Amelia? Uh, 11th grade. 11th grade. grade wow, well, you're, you're learning basketball when you're 11th grade. I think yeah. there is uh, like one year ago? Oh, yes, yeah. year ago. Because um, for me, as a girl, basketball is the hardest thing. I don't really like sports, <laughs> you know. But for you, I think you really can manage how t to learn about basketball. I think you really know how to handle a basketball. <laughs> That's really yeah, excellent. Yeah, it's make me relax. Relax? Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do. <laughs> wow. I mean, basketball is not uh, a relaxed thing for me because I have to uh, understand what kind of uh, bouncing, what kind <laughs> of points, the games of basketball. That's why when you, when someone understanding about basketball, how, 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 how they can do that? <laughs> okay, that's really great of you that you can understand that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, next question. Well, as a decafe, what do you do during your internship, Amelia? During my internship at a uh, Printing, uh, printing company oh, printing company. is mm -hmm. Teleng Indah Printing. Wow. I design directly in front of customer mm -hmm. uh, and create and adjust print material design wow. and handle revision. It's very Im important. Improve. Or improving yeah, your improve so my well. communication skill mm -hmm. and project management skill. Wow, yes. Yeah. As you can see, internship or Indonesia, we can say it's magang. Yeah. It's a lot of things you can learn, especially in having relationship with the customer, in yeah. having uh, 
updating your talent, especially in designing and also in communication with the customer. That's really excellent. And also, in SM Connect, the guessing idea is not only learning about your basic skills, it's also learning about your high skills, especially if you're focusing in drawing. The, if you have to join an internship also focusing in drawing, okay? That's really excellent for you that you can understand it and manage your internship. Congratulations Thank for you. it. It's really incredible. Okay, next question. Your English is really improving so well, you know? Oh, no. When did you start learning English, Amelia? I started learning English in elementary school, but mm -hmm. I become too more serious to improve my skill English. Mm -hmm. Uh, science in SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja. Wow, so you already know about English in elementary school, but you're focusing how to learn English in yeah. SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja. Yeah. Wow, that's really good because, as you know, especially if you're internship or you having a job that yeah. um, have communication in client or in customer, English is very important for our yeah, life skill, right. for our job, especially for our life future. Because in English, you can improving our, your skills, you can communicating with other people. That's really excellent for you. you. Okay. Okay, about your English language, have you any participate in any English competition, Amelia? Um. No, I have not participated in English competition. Oh, why? But... Mm -hmm. I hope to another change mm -mm, in yeah. the next competition, oh. I can. <laughs> oh, that's really great. Yeah. I mean, uh, as you can see, your English is really improving so well, you know. I mean, I give you a lot of questions and you can manage Thank to you. answer it. That's really improving so well. And I'm really <laughs> suggesting you to joining an co English competition, especially um, in public speaking or in Olympiade. For example, you can joining a storytelling maybe, yeah, right. or a speech, or maybe you can join in an Olympiade of English competition. Yeah, right. That's really incredible. Okay, sahabat Tanika, as you can see, Amelia is really improving so well her English. Thank you. That's why I'm <laughs> suggesting you to join us in extra uh, radio of Sarah Tanika, especially in program of stereo. Because today, I'm gonna teaching you a lot of how to be a host, how to be a guest star, and how to learn more about English, okay? That's okay. really incredible. Amel. Okay, this is the last question. Are you excited about yeah. it? <laughs> okay, this yeah, is the last question. Do you believe that English can improve our skill in the future? Tell us more about your opinion. Of course, I believe English is very important to our future mm -hmm. because is it a global language yeah. that can open up many opportunities in education, career, wow. and personal growth. Yes, that's really important, right? Because yeah. uh, English is really improving our skill, especially when you're having uh, communication in client, communication in customer, and especially in when you're having a job that focusing in uh, Focusing that you can communicate in a lot yeah. of people, right? right. Uh, for example, that if you're having a client that in Bule or from yeah. the other people, <laughs> other country that from uh, Europa, that from Australia, you can manage to understand, you can manage to give them what kind of thing that you can do for them. Yeah, it's really that's incredible. Right. That's why English is very important for our life skills. Okay. Um, I think that's all of my questions. Thank you so thank much, you Amelia. So much, yeah, thank you so much that you come to our radio or Saratanika 107.7 FM. And also, I'm not gonna get bored to promoting our school that SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja have ten major, especially have DKV, TJKT, and yeah. a lot of major we have. And also, don't forget to join us in 25 extra in SMK Negeri Tiga Singaraja. And I'm suggesting you to join us in Radio Saratanika 107.7. FM. Okay, thank you so much for watching us in YouTube and also listening us in the radio of Suara Tanika. And without any further ado, let's just say goodbye. Okay. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>